Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a zeppelin, so let's get right into it. First off, you're going to need uh, two blocks, you're going to need redstone and a uh, mole. Um, uh, as you can see uh, on this zeppelin over here, uh, I mainly use the wool and redstone on it and levers and other stuff. But it's, uh, you know, really complicated, so we're really not going to talk about it right now. So, uh, as we uh, go back over here, um, we need at least 75% uh, of wool and only 25% of redstone. And if you don't have that, you know, you're not gonna really going to be able to fly. So after that, yep, that's basically done. Okay, now it's time to talk about these blocks. You got your furnace, piston, chests, and uh, summit. I'm going to show you real quick uh, what each of those are and where it should be in the zeppelin. First you got your furnace, basically where your fuel goes, chests for storage and movement of vehicles and stuff, and piston for anchors, signs, I'll talk about you. Yeah, we'll work about it in a second, I'm sorry. So, uh, why is furnaces really needed? Well, you need fuel for them. That's how, you know, they work. So, uh, let me get something real quick. Brief intermission, yeah. Any fuel work, charcoal, uh, charcoal blocks, coal, etc. Uh, blocks. Basically. Um, then we're gonna do this command slash pilot zeppelin. And then, uh, since we have the fuel in it, uh, we need a stick. Uh, sticks are basically the dragon wheel of the vehicle. You can go up, down, left, or right, etc. And you can do cruise options, so I'm going to release it. And if we were to remove the block of coal, pilot the Zeppelin back, you can see that it will not move at all. And uh, that's because there is no more fuel left in the aircraft. So let's move on to the signs. Alright, uh, here are the signs. This is a pilot sign. Basically, if you have it, you know, no one can do it because they're not the pilot. Here is how you make one. You do a pilot, make sure you have this colon. If not, you're, uh, it won't work. Then you just press it done. It will automatically do your username. You can break it. I don't have any on my sign. Uh, next is the fuel sign. Basically, it just says this is how many blocks are left in your um, uh, fuel or how many more you can travel until you are uh, empty and you are stuck. It, really simple. Nothing to it. Uh, next we have the contact sign. This is to show any enemy aircraft, any friendly nation, town, etc. Basically you want this on this if you're doing missions or just flying around for fun. And uh, yeah, it's just really fun to have on because uh, you get alerted in chat. Um, I really don't have anything to show you for it. Uh, this is the status sign. It shows you how much block health you have left, what's your speed, etc. And you have the fun one that I do. Let me go over here. It's the name one. You put it on there, you do this, set a name, and then colon, and whatever you want to name it. You need three more letters, that's why this is not working right now. But basically, you just do slash pilot zeppelin, and then you would do slash uh, craft list. <coughs> Enter, and it's not going to show up, because I forgot it's only three letters. And it would just say, oh, this is your craft, and then it would be whatever you named it. For example, mine would be you, because I named it you break this and get back over here and uh, next is the repair sign I'll you know show that in a minute uh, let's uh, skip over the repair sign and then like go to the more fun one as uh, a lot of people call it over here is the bombs say uh, because zeppelins can't use field guns cannons etc on them while piloting this is how you defend it launch bombs it will drop TNT really easy not a big explosion but can take out ship or two. It must be a coal or it will not work. And uh, for the final one, this is just really complicated. It's called subcraft elevators. And uh, you can just go up and down. And the reason it's not sticking is because it does not go for diorite. Uh, the, I mean, polished soul, I'm sorry. Basil. And uh, it will just stay like that. So you can just go up and down and you can use it for elevators, which will show in different aircraft is in a and uh, next, I'm just going to show a quick thing. If um, It's called uh, merging. It's really annoying to find out what you merged with. Basically, if I were to be piloting it, let me just get some coal real quick and put it in my, <coughs> my Zeppelin real quick. So, say I have coal, I'm like, oh, I'm just going to go like land it or whatever. Because most people don't know this. It's so, like, oh, I'm going, oops, I'm stuck. Also, this is the chat thing, like, um, hey, you're, yeah, I ran into this, and it's really helpful. 
so like you can move. But say if I remove it, it will say, uh oh, they're warning they're uh, something that you can merge with. So it will show you, and it's really helpful because uh, if you accidentally merge it, it will probably take a ton of time just trying to figure out what you merged with. There at least, and then we're going to talk about the classes of Zeppelins. Here are just like some Zeppelins that I did. Uh, we have like the light ones that I call the medium ones, which hold more double chests, as you're about to see. And then you have the big one, which will be at the end. And no, I'm not doing a voiceover for this part, because, uh, I'm lazy. So, uh, here you go, enjoy some background music. And now I'm going to teach you about uh, repairing. First, you have to make a sign in Pilot Shipyard. This is the sign, just repair and then whatever. You uh, punch it twice, which will uh, say this, state saved. And it saves the whole thing. So any other blocks you add to it, it will not work. You have to uh, release it to it. So let me go to Nations. So after you did that, you go to Nations. And um, like, for example, this is a platform. It's not really that big, but uh, let me just turn off chat. So you just like go up here and you make a sign with your um, name of your craft. For example, like, my name's Mine Star. So here we go. Repair and then start. <coughs> and then you do Pilot Shipyard as well. So uh, right clicking will show you what you need and how much it will cost and how much time. And if you do it again, it will show you what you're missing and you need chests to put the stuff into. And then you print it. Um, one thing about repairing slash printing, um, you need to make sure you're facing the correct direction. So if you're facing like, if your craft is facing north and move craft, you must print it north. If you're facing south, it will still face north. And it can destroy any buildings, and it's very dumb, and uh, it's just really not needed. So make sure you change, and make sure you understand how to print it. Because if you don't, it's your fault. Alright, and uh, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. There is going to be some more tutorials, but um, if you guys want to just come chill out with me, I'm in something called Pawsand right next to Cunningsburg. You can meet me over here. I'll be chilling in here sometimes. And you can buy a plane ticket, and I'll just fly you to random places, because that's what I do. So uh, join the server. All links and everything will be in the description. And uh, I'm Shadow Lefty, and I'm sorry.